give the classification of colloidal solutions. Colloids can be classified on the basis of physical state of dispersed phase and dispersion medium or they can be classified on the basis of appearance or they can be classified on the basis of solvent affinity. So let's discuss about the classification on the basis of physical state of dispersed phase and dispersion medium. Each of the dispersed phase and the dispersion medium can be a solid, liquid or gas. There are eight different combinations possible. For example, if dispersed phase is solid and, and dispersion medium is solid, we can say solid sol is formed and examples are colored glass, alloys and gems. In case of dispersed phase solid, dispersion medium liquid, sol is formed. Examples are paint, ink, white of egg, collider gold. In case of dispersed phase solid and, and dispersion medium is gas, aerosol is formed. An example is smoke and dust. In case of liquid dispersed phase and dispersion medium solid, gel is formed. Examples are curd, cheese, jelly and puddings. In case when dispersed phase is liquid and dispersion medium is liquid, emulsion is obtained. Examples are milk, butter, oil, etc. In case dispersed phase is liquid and dispersion medium is gas, aerosol is formed. Examples are mist, fog, clouds. And when the dispersed phase is gas and dispersion medium is solid, solid foam is obtained. Example is cake, bread, humic stone. And finally, when dispersed phase is gas and dispersion medium is liquid, foam is obtained. Examples are soap, lather, aerated water. A colloidal solution with both the components of the gaseous state is not possible as according to Graham's law of diffusion, they form a homogeneous mixture. Second, classification on the basis of appearance. They are classified into two parts. One is salts, one is gels. When a colloidal solution appears, a fluid, it is termed as sol. Sols are named after the dispersion medium. For example, when dispersion medium is water, they are called hydrosol. If dispersion medium is alcohol, they are called alcosol. And if it is benzene, they are called benzosol. Gels. When a colloid has a solid-like rigid appearance, it is called gel. The rigidity of the gel varies from substance to substance. Some substance may occur both as sol as well as gel. This depends upon the relative concentration of the dispersed phase and dispersion medium. A gel is formed by interlocking of the dispersed phase particles. Gelatin dissolves in warm water to form a colloidal solution which sets into gel. And the last, classification on the basis of solvent affinity. They are classified into two parts, lyophilic solvent loving salts or lyophobic solvent hating salts. When the dispersion medium exert an attraction on the dispersed phase, then we get lyophilic sol. For examples of lyophilic reversible salts are protein, starch, glue, gelatin and agar agar, which gives reversible colloidal solutions with water. Rubber in benzene is also a reversible colloidal system. Lyophobic When the attraction between the dispersion medium and the dispersed phase is very little, then the sol is called lyophobic, solvent-hating sols. Typical example of lyophobic sols, non-reversible, are metals, sulfur sulfides, silver halides, egg albumen, silicic acid, and ferric hydroxide. 